Okay, <laughs> look what we got here, finally. <laughs> Sitting next to Hobsa. Hobsina or Hobsa? Hobsina. Hobsa. 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 Always got the name on. Apologies <laughs> for that. Um, I've reviewed the, um, the cannonball yeah. in the house. How different is this? Well, this is this is human cannonball, so this is the, the, the bigger brother of uh, cannonball. So yeah. This is 9.2 percent. Right. Regular cannonball is 7.4. 7 percent. So this was uh, brewed on the uh, day of the Magic Rock uh, launch and drove with uh, Colin, who was previously a Marvel, now at Dark Isle, and uh, and Matt from Hulk as well. So wow. It's a bit of, not really collaboration, but they came and did all the hard work. So is, it, is this still in production? Um, is, is this still being brewed? I think there the will be a bit brewed a couple of times here. Right, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a special thing. Oh, it's a real privilege then. Let's get the nose, mate. Oh, wow. Yeah. That did she love lemony. I'm getting lo loads of big resonance hops. Maybe a lot of... So it's balanced out with a lot of... Uh, Kind of treacle, really sweet, kind of sugary top. Yeah, yeah. But big resinous on side there. Wow. I'm going to get straight into this. Absolutely. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. And you get that. It coats your palate, doesn't it? it does. Completely coats your palate. It's got plenty of body to it. It's got, it's got a real slick body. I mean, it's not like a stampy body, but it's kind of... It's, it's, a, it's, it's a slick, kind of oily kind of yeah. quality. And I guess that's... I mean, you put that much hops in something. It would. Yeah. It would give that exactly. oily, oily nature to it. But let's get it up to the camera. Let's look at this. I ain't wow. got as much as Simon. <laughs> <laughs> he has got half of 9.2% uh, um, beer. We will drink it all. <laughs> Okay, so with a beer being nine point two percent, where where would you place it? Would you would you uh, go for this from you? Instead of going for a top shelf at the end of a night, would you would you go for this to finish your night out? Is that yeah. where would you put this? Beer? Absolutely, as we are in Huddersfield, the home of uh, the Will Fame, well, the nationally famous Grove. Uh, and they've got such a, mass, a massive kind of range of fantastic beers. Um, you want uh, personally, so I, I I don't live that close to here, but I'll make the effort to come over. Uh, but by the end of the night, you're always picking something that you're going to end up on. And I completely agree. This is the kind of thing you definitely want to taste. Yeah. But it's something you don't want to have too early on in the session. Yeah. So it's gonna it's gonna do you in it. It'll ruin you. It'll ruin you. Oh, I'm finding this absolutely fantastic. But really, really, like you say, it's got that. Culture palette, it's got that toffee, mm. and then the hops. Yeah. It just it so comes together. Full so of a well. real full grapefruit flavour. Yeah. Maybe a slight burnt quality, maybe a bit like a really strong marmalade. I don't know about you. This. Sorry, first of all, to answer your question, yeah, absolutely. Very much so. Ends quite dry. Bit of a sweet finish. Mm, yeah. Well, yeah. That, I guess that's it. When you've got a beer of this size, you do need it to be relatively yeah. sweet. You need to balance out. Yeah. I mean, there will be a ridiculous amount of hops put in this beer to kind of balance out that uh, level of alcohol. Because I don't know about you, but I don't taste that full nine point. No. Oh no, no, no way. You've never, you never believed this would happen in a million years. One last thing before we do go is I want to ask Rob. Rob's tried beers for all over the place, all over America. Magic Rock seemed to be gearing into a marketplace in the UK, into the really big hoppy specialist kind yeah. of kind of range of beers from they kind of remind me of the British version of Dogfish Head. Or oh. yeah, I think you could draw a yeah, parallels, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. There is a there is a big American influence on Magic Rock, obviously, they were the beers that uh, the two owners, uh, Johnny and uh, Richard Burhouse, were kind of excited by at the time when they thought, let's open a brewery, and they thought, we love these beers, let's make these beers in the UK. And they're certainly, I, I think they're going to be massive. Well, that's up. 
Uh, I, uh, sorry, one more question before we go. I asked Richard to the question and I want, I want your opinion on this. Why in the 70s did this big explosion and everybody was standing, even today now people are standing in front of the supermarket shelves, reading the backs of the labels on wine, uh, finding out if they want to buy the bottle. If they don't, they'll put the bottle down, pick up another bottle, read the whole label. With the beer revolution going on at the moment, do you see beer getting into that mainstream of people? It's, it's seeping its way in. I guess uh, the origins of that kind of boom in the late 70s, early 80s of wine is all down to uh, all, well, people like Austrian, who were young people, young writers, young people who appeared on television who uh, were excited about wine and they, and they were slim, they were uh, at a good position within the media. Yeah. So therefore, uh, they they had a position and an enthusiasm, and that drew uh, the wine uh, industry to where it is now, especially in the UK. And I guess there is that that, that level of people out there. I mean, yourself. I mean, you're a, you're a young youngish man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In your out there, hundreds of people watching it, and there's people like Matt Dredge and Andy Mark and all the kind of the uh, right. Uh, I guess Pete Brown's not even that old, but um, it, it's young, enthusiastic people ragging about beer, so for me, there's no reason why it shouldn't happen. It's, it's all down to the, uh, the consumer, if, yeah. can they be can they be aware of them? Yeah, I think with the, the, the amount of breweries opening, I'm kind of thinking that it's going to be a tidal wave. Eventually it'll have to happen, which would be fantastic. Absolutely. But Finally, anyway. rating, rating for this beer, mate. Well, I'm going to give it See, the stuff behind that door, it's very, it's very difficult. <laughs> um, I'm going to give it an 8 and a half. 8 and a half. I think that's fair. I think that's honest. That's honest. Yeah. I'm going to join Rob on, a, on an 8 and a half. I think it's fantastic. If I drunk a few sessionable beers, yeah. I'd come to the end of my night, I wanted something to finish me off. I, I wouldn't bother going to the top shelf. I would buy myself a human cannonball. And it, and sit there and connoisseur and enjoy the beer with the rest of the night. Thank you very, very Absolute much for joining me. Yeah. No doubt you'll see us in a few of the pubs around here. Yes. Cheers.